Salutations, everybody. Good morning. Today is July 17th. It's Sunday, and it's 9:17. I'm going to be starting in this new vlog series, and I want to see how you guys like it because I really want to give it a try because this is like one of those YouTube things, you know. And I wanted to just say, look at this little guy right here. Look at him. Isn't he just? Isn't he just adorable? Look at that face. Oh, that face is, yep, that face says a lot. Hey guys, how you doing? We just got back from our thing, and I'm at Grandma's house now. And, um, I'm just going to be filming here. And they have a house, and it's like two floors, so maybe we could have a tour or something. So right now I'm in, like, my workspace. This is my work area. I'm doing a project. I'll show you guys later what I'm doing, what I plan on doing with that stuff. And, um, there's a restroom. And so, yeah, this is my grandmother's house. I mean, it's pretty cool. I'm vlogging at grandma's. Oh, there I am. Vlogging at grandma's. And, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And my hair is dry. It's dry now. So, this is a project I've been working on. I take the bookmarks and then I trace them onto paper like this. And then I put them in the oven, I shrink them, and then it turns out like that. And so you can see by comparison how much smaller it is to that. And then I made it out of a bracelet. So I have, and then I punched holes in it before. So there's this one, which is modeled off of this bookmark. This one, which is modeled off of that one. And this one that's modeled off of this one. I did this background yellow. And these are other charms that I had done for a few years. And I was going to stick them onto rubber bands, but I decided not to. And so then there's this one, it's like just a design. And then there's a frog. Well, I, have, I did a whole bunch of frogs because I feel like I was going to do a set and make these into different charms. But that didn't really work out. Because I don't like wearing like fashy bracelets all the time. And this is like the Smarties. I'm going to be doing something with these later on. Here's a pineapple. A bat. Another thing. This is, these are just like charms. So this one. This is a guitar I did. I didn't punch a hole in this one, though, because I was experimenting with the marker to see if it could be, like, a 3D effect. Here's another charm, and another charm. Yeah, so, and then the project I plan on doing is I'm tracing the Smarties like this. I'm tracing the smarty paper, and then they're going to turn out to be this small, like this. And then I'm going to put them on here, and then... Wear them as a bracelet. Put the Smarty Shrinky Dinks in the oven, and we're supposed to be waiting for five minutes for them to turn out. And this is what they look like so far. My knee just banged up against the stove. Here is the Shrinky Dinks. They're curling up, and once they lay flat, they're they're done. They have to be like ready, but they're gonna be plastic. That's my grandma and grandpa talking in the background. But anyway, you get the point. We'll wait and see when they how they turn out if they come out right. It's been about approximately five minutes now. I actually don't know when we started to put them in, but this is a prog progress. I think that I'm gonna take them out now. So yeah, these look really good. Okay, they're so hot, so I'm not going to... Actually, I am. Put them over here. There's one. Two, three. These, these look really well done. They have a logo in them, but you can't see them as well on camera. There you go. That's what they look like. And I'm going to turn them into a bracelet. So, I'll take him with you when that's done. 
Okay, so I did finish my bracelet. Here is the finished product. There are one, two, three charms on it. I think it looks pretty good. There's this side, this side, this side, there's the backup. I may actually be running this to school because I don't know what day, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I think it's awesome. I think it looks great. I spent like almost an hour working on this whole thing because it was hard getting them into the loops of the crazy bands. But I think it looks finished product. Pretty cool. I think that I'm going into the backyard now to, um, oh my gosh, you guys, look, look, look at this. You guys, that is amazing, look at it. Let's see how close I can get. Oh, I'm really close, you guys. Oh, I think he's going to run. Oh, he saw me. That is adorable. I just came out because I wanted to look at the walnut tree, and I found this. Oh. Yeah, he's he's running, he's gone. So this is a walnut tree and I don't think I see any walnuts, but they're pretty like these greenish ball things. And then you crack them open and you can get walnuts from them, but they stain your clothes like really, really easily. My grandma says there are birds living in here in this house but I can't really see. So I don't know if you guys can see either, but there's like the house on the tree. And yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, there he is again. He keeps on running away. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to be by us. And so there are some rabbit lures down there. I think my grandpa made the wood ones. And there's another tree over there. He's still like looking over here. He's still over there. And then um, there's this birdhouse who they like to feed off of. And then they're growing some rhubarb over there and over here and then they have some tiger lilies I think over there and they have asparagus over here that's that's asparagus and somebody a friend of grandma's is working on this fence and they're supposed to be painting the whole entire thing like a mural like all the way through so it's going to be covered completely but that's like where it's at right now and I don't know, I want to do something else make you remember. I think, yeah, that's going to do it for the tour outside. Okay, so we're having lunch. What are we having for lunch, Grandma? Well, I got up early and I went out and caught some fish. And I'm cooking it in the oven. I made it into fish sticks, but I know you like it. Then we're having some potato salad from uh, Jerry's Market and some cottage cheese. And if you want, you can have some um, watermelon for dessert. How does that sound? Wow, Grandma, what a catch. That sounds like a whole buffet. So, this is what I'm having for lunch. I have some cottage cheese. And you guys know what cottage cheese tastes like, so I'm not going to go into detail about that, but I will take a bite. That's great. And then we have some fish sticks. I'm just going to take a little bite, a little bite of this. Mmm, that's so crunchy. That's a crisp, a very crisp fish stick. Mm. And then we have some potato salad. Where's the potato salad from, Grandma? Tony's Market. Tony's Market. Okay, yeah, I'm also eating with my grandparents. After Jerry's Market, but Tony runs it. He's the owner. All right. His so wife makes some potato salad. Here's a potato salad. I I don't think I've ever had this type of potato salad. Oh, that that's good. That is very good. I know. That is excellent potato salad. And then we have some cucumbers and sour cream. And I just dip it in here. Yeah, that's a really good combination. That is scrumptious. This has been my lunch food review at my grandma's house. Are you liking your meal? You like your meal, Grandpa? What do you want? You like your meal? I love my meal. How about you, Grandma? You like your meal? Of course. I made it. All right. Peace out. Okay, so it is dessert time. Dessert time. Dessert time. And we're having watermelon. I've already had some. It tastes really good. 
it still has the seeds in it. I usually like see this watermelon, but this is amazing. I mean, watermelon in general is great. And this is, this is so good. It's so good. I just wanted to give you an update. Guys, I'm in the living room with my grandparents, and here's Grandma. Grandma, what what do you Hello. do? What what are you doing, Grandma? Well, I'm working a puzzle, which is very hard. It's supposed to be a map of the city of Orion, but all the pieces are white, and it's very hard to distinguish what's what. Oh well, it looks like you've been making progress on the border. That's pretty cool. Well, thank you. I hope it's going to be better than what it's turning out to be. It's awfully hard. I don't know why I even tried to start it. I don't know. It looks good. Keep on trying, Grandma. So now I'm here with my grandpa. They're in the same room, guys. They're in the same room. Um, what are you doing, Grandpa? I'm reading. Wherever you go, there you are. It's very confusing. It's a book about meditation, but it confuses me. So what to do? Thank you, Grandpa. That was pretty good. Keep on reading. Keep up with the good work. <laughs> okay, so something I can always remember doing when I was younger, when I went to this house, is going down this banister. So I'm going to see if I can recreate the moment again by me just shooting down the banister. Ready, here we go. Blow it up. Alright, here we go. Not as exactly as I remembered it, but you know. It's in the afternoon, and we are doing something. We're playing a game. What game are we playing, Grandma? Playing Mummy. Oh, yeah? Do you think you might win this one for once? Well, I was winning as we quit last one, but Grandpa took our scorecard out, so now we got to start over. So we tied in Rummy, we both won one, so now we're drawing whoever has the highest card wins, right? Can okay, you be first? No, I think you should go first. You want me to go first? No, you can. You just, no, you do like this, see? And then you turn it over like that, see? Okay. Okay, um, so the highest card. Mm -hmm. Just anywhere? Yeah, just draw anywhere. Oh. You won. Let's do it again. Let's do best a two out of three. All right. Okay. You can go first this time. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Ooh, I I got a three. Now this is the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate tiebreaker. What? How do you feel about that, Grandma? I'm not fine with that. Wow. So so intense. I got a seven. How was that possible? Yeah. We both got seven. No, then we gotta do it again. We gotta do it one more time. Right. That's unbelievable. No, you have to go first because I went first. Oh goodness! Unless I get. Grandma, how does it feel to be the new Rummy champion? <laughs> Do you like it? back home from my grandparents' house, and it was such a thrilling day, it was a, a great day. Um, they're both so enthusiastic, but towards the end of the day, Grandma was really tired, we literally played cards for like three hours straight, I know this didn't look like that, but we played for three hours straight, and we got off, I, I went, we went to the place, and then we got home to her house, 
at around noonish, and I stayed till four, so basically four hours at her house. But it was very fun. I made the bracelet. I slid down the banister, and they played cards. That was one heck of a game, you know. And I got to enjoy the scenery again. So that was really nice. And thanks again for liking, sharing, subscribing, and good night.